This is Imerlin Dres Benitez, enjoying life with her family in Venezuela, with her young son and her friends. But all of these photos are old. There are no recent photos of Imerli Andres Benitez because she has been in jail for more than 1,850 days, wrongly imprisoned, according to her family, and repeatedly tortured by Venezuelan authorities. Ella fue torturada con bolsas en la cara, patadas en el pecho, en la espalda. La obligaron a hincarse y a rezar el Padre Nuestro. Ella les dijo que no las golpearan porque mi hermana estaba embarazada y no le hicieron caso. Ella es inocente de todos los delitos que le imputan. Ella no es ninguna terrorista. In August of 2018, Benitez was traveling in a car with three other people when counterintelligence officers stopped them in the city of Barquisimeto and accused everyone in that car of being involved in a plot to assassinate President Nicolas Maduro. Eventually, a Venezuelan court with jurisdiction over terrorism sentenced Benitez to 30 years behind bars on charges of attempted murder with malice aforethought of the president and the military high command, throwing explosive devices, terrorism, treason, and conspiracy. But according to a new report from Amnesty International, there's little to no evidence of her involvement in any of it. Only because she was in this car, um when the people were detained, she was also arrested. She was severely tortured, and even uh, the government gave her a forced abortion. Her case, according to researchers, is emblematic of a policy of repression implemented by the government of Nicolas Maduro, a decade of a widespread and systematic attack on the population of Venezuela that may constitute crimes against humanity. The new report, Life Detained, is 30 pages long, and Benitez's case is just one of nine highlighted. There is still an ongoing policy of repression. Venezuela was once the richest country in South America. Today, Venezuelans struggle to access basic necessities. According to the United Nations, rampant violence, inflation, gang warfare, soaring crime rates and food shortages have forced more than six million people to flee the country. And its leader, Nicolas Maduro, has repeatedly been accused of stifling dissent by any means necessary. Normally people would think that in Venezuela, the repression only targets those who oppose or are uh, strongly opposed to the government. And what we have found is that it's much wider. It only uh, needs to be um, someone that is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Human rights organizations have documented close to 300 cases of people currently detained in Venezuela solely for political reasons. As for Imerli Indris Benitez, her sister says the international community can and should do more. La libertad de mi hermana es lo que todos esperamos, que se haga justicia con su caso, o que tiene a su hijo que la espera en casa, que todos los días me pregunta por ella. Siento temor porque por tantas cosas que he visto, he escuchado que pasan aquí en Venezuela, pero sigo alzando mi voz por la libertad de mi hermana y para que no sigan ocurriendo esos, los hechos a más personas inocentes como le está pasando a mi hermana. Benitez's legal team appealed her conviction, but she has yet to appear before a court. Her sister told us they have been waiting for news on her appeal for more than a year. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.